everyone, today at Top Gym, I'm gonna talk to you about Concept Kids Animals. It's a game for four years and older. It's a game that was recommended to me by Espace Ludico. It's an educational game with animals. So I'm gonna show you how it plays and tell you what I think right after. So the game comes with a board and I will explain a little later, but there's different uh, things on the board that will identify what we have. It comes with cards and we have some cards with a blue um, square, meaning these are the simple animals. However, we have mo a lot of other cards with the red square, which means these animals are a little harder to, to guess or to make guess other people. It comes with a card holder and 16 rings. So at the beginning, you're gonna choose if you want to use the blue, the red, or if you want to mix them all. So for a start, you're gonna start your game with choosing 12 cards and put them face down. So it's the kids who's trying to make the adult guess what they have. So what they're gonna do, they're gonna put a card on the card holder facing them and me, I don't know what it is. And what they're gonna do, they're gonna each their turn take a ring and place it on an area to represent whatever is on the card. So that's a ladybug. So let's say they want to say it's red. And the next player, the next kids will say and black. Here we have also this, for example, here we have the size of the animal. Somebody can say it's a small animal. Here it tells you if it jump, fly, uh, climb if it um, if it walks swim dig etc so let's say this is something that flies uh, then this is his uh, food mode so if the kid doesn't know for example where he lives or what he eats he doesn't have to put the ring it's entirely up to him according to his knowledge uh, then here is how is it strong or is not strong so let's say it's not a strong animal here it says a number of legs, so if they don't know, they still can look at the image and look at the legs, right? So we know the ladybug has more than four legs. We're gonna put this multiple. Here is the, the type of leg, so is it uh, claws or does it have a tail or anything? So again, they can look at it. And the ladybug, not so much, but here, we can see antennas, that's perfect. Here, not so much, I mean, there's the feathers, the hair, uh, this one like a turtle and this one like a fish. Is it fast, slow or, so let's take, say it's slow. Where does it live? Hmm, do, do we know where it lives? We can say it lives here, right? Uh, here it says, is it a friendly animal or a very mad animal? <laughs> so let's say it's friendly. Ladybugs are friendly. This is, it, does he live at night or during the day? And so let's say for the kids it's enough. He doesn't know more about this animal. And me, I'm going to try to guess. Hmm, okay, it's very small. It's an insect. And then I will try different things. But really with the red and the, the black, I will say ladybug. And if I get it right, then we're gonna place the card here on the side, and then we move on to the next card. So we're just gonna remove all the ring from the board. The kids take another card, so they're playing together, and then they're gonna try to make me guess the dog. So again, they, we can start by saying it lives in the house, right? It's of medium size. And it's brown. The one on the image is brown, but it can be different colors. It has hair. And another kid can say, well, it has teeth, right? And he say four legs. And he eat meats. Okay, what else? He's a walking, not really something else. He's kind of fast and what we can do also is we can put it in the middle right it's fast and not so fast so and it's friendly animal so me i'm gonna say okay is it a cat and they say no and i can continue to guess until i get it or i can say hmm i really really don't know in that case if i don't know we're gonna take the card and put it on the side 
and then we move on to the next card. So we have 12 cards here. Once the 12 cards are done, we're gonna go into the rule book and see how we did. So if we manage to make seven, so we are a really good uh, animal, we can be the king, we can be majestic cat, etc. So uh, we can see where we are depending on how many cards we get. So we can play in the other way, which means I am the one, the adult, who's gonna try to make uh, the kids try to identify this animal. So it's me trying the kids to guess what it is. Again, if they get it, we're just gonna put it on the side here. And finally, what you can do, you take 24 cards from this deck and then everybody on their turn will try to make other player guesses. And if I can recommend, uh, this is mostly a cooperative game where we're trying to get better and better at understanding uh, all the characteristics of an animal. But if you want to play uh, competitively, it's possible. So one player is going to make everybody else try to guess what is animal is it. And the one who guess can win the card. And at the end, we can um, count the cards and the one with the most cards will, cards will win. But it's entirely up to you. The game doesn't recommend the competitive side but uh, you can do it I think it's feasible so what I think about concept kids animals first of all uh, the cards are really really amazing I really did like the cards how they are clear and simple and how it's easy for the kids to just look at the card and be able to represent it on on the board uh, I also like the fact that we have simple and uh, more complex cards. So here, for example, we have the beluga and the buffalo, hyenas and um, um, uh, and a platypus. <laughs> this one was not easy. Okay, so this is really nice to have a two different level uh, with the kids. Uh, we have the rings here, very nice color, very easy. And finally, the board, really a really nice color for full board. You can see here all the colors. Here you can see whatever uh, the animals they have, uh, their nose, their antennas, if they're having feathers or hair, or you know if they have two legs or four legs. And here, whatever, where they live, if they are flying or if they are swimming. So this board is really, really nice to use. And really, I was not expecting to like that game as much. And I really find out that it's a very nice game, very educational, and I do recommend it. So I see you later. Bye-bye.